Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. We continue the teaching that is so precious about the new tools that a human being can have regarding their own soul. A premise, perhaps, that is so unusual and far out to many that they may even question whether this is possible. The premise is indeed the energy on this planet is changing and that energy we speak of is that certain things are being enhanced in the reality that you claim that always stays the same and it doesn't. This reality of yours, this four dimensionality of yours is starting to expand. And in the expansion of it, there is an allowance for you to see more, sense more, know more. And this is the new tool of many that is starting to occur in this new energy. And we've told you before, it sweeps all of humanity. There is an awakening of humanity very slowly. But the forerunners of that, the old souls, the ones who have spent so many lifetimes here, are the ones who will feel it first and know what to do with it. And in that, we have given you a message, lessons, if you wish, meditations, that talk about you communicating in a different way to your own soul. There are so many who have been taught that the soul is somewhere else that they believe you must travel to it. The answer is that multidimensional things are all around you. And in the case of your soul, it has always been within you. Always. You travel the planet with this soul. Now, indeed, there are pieces and parts, you might say, if you can even define it that way, that are way beyond your human body, which are you. But for the purpose of linearity and thought and, and clarity, think of it inside you. Think of you broadcasting it. It's part of you. And yet it's been invisible, untouchable, and something spiritually that's only been told about as opposed to something that you could access. And now we're telling you, you can access some of the incredible pieces and parts of what is in you that never was accessible before. Perhaps even more than spiritual, it's practical. Today is practical. I will give you this lesson. This is not a meditation. It's it is teaching, dear ones. You should know what is there. But before even we go, we go there, we, we invite you again to, to revisit what we told you. Inside of you, in your soul, there is a record of you. And it's accessible. And we told you earlier, there are so many things that you can access within it which belongs to you. Each one of your past life is there. And while you were living those lifetimes, you accumulated so much knowledge of how things work, of how to be a mother, how to be a father. You visited the genders, both of them, all of you. You sit in a place now of the gender that was most comfortable for you because that's the one that you will be using in a very different way in this energy, if you wish. I'm aware of those listening now all over, not just here, that perhaps are listening for the first time and would shake their hands and say, say, wring their hands or shake their heads and say, this is not for me, this is foolishness. I don't want any part of it. That is an honored place to be. 
And I say that because free choice is absolute on this planet. I am cryon. Angelic energy, you might say. From the other side of the veil, you might say, if you would believe such a thing. And I will say to you, there is no judgment for what you believe. There truly is not. That's the beauty of this experience as a human. Not only that, you are so individual that even if you accept these things that I'm telling you, there is a timeline for you that may be shorter or longer for someone sitting right next to you. Not only that, you may access these things in far different ways. You may choose another path and get the same result. That is all to say there is no judgment in anything here that you either accept or don't. There's no rule that says what I tell you now you must believe. I will simply give you a true, a true, true attribute of the day, and you can do with it what you choose. But from my standpoint, in love with humanity, I see such beautiful expansion in what I'm going to tell you today into areas that I know almost every single human being wants right now. And it goes like this. In 2002, there was a Russian scientist, the Russian Academy of Science. He and his colleague made an interesting discovery. They called that discovery the phantom DNA effect. Some say DNA phantom effect. And not to give you all of the details, but it was the first time that they positively had a repeatable experiment that would indicate that DNA was multidimensional, that it reacted in a very odd way with other multidimensional things, such as laser light. It actually was shown that certain multidimensional properties imprinted themselves into DNA. And long after the sources were removed, the DNA stayed the same, indicating an, an instruction set, literally, was imprinted into pieces and parts of the DNA interdimensionally. A complex experiment, difficult to explain, but it actually started the phenomenon of understanding and changing the research of both physics and biology together. You might say it started that which today becomes quantum biologists. Yes, there are those studying the biology of your body and the quantum effects at the same time because there is an acknowledgement that you are multidimensional. Now, this is in your science, in your universities. This is not relegated to churches or New Agers or any of the esoteric believers. This is now fact. However, it still remains a mystery how much of it is multidimensional. What does it mean to you? But I am here to teach you that this new tool for the age, for you, is right in your lap. And I'm going to tell you what it's about. How many times have I faced off with you and given you instructions about what is consciousness? It's energy. Now proven to be energy. Now proven to be measurable energy. In ways you never thought it could work, it now has been proven. It changes so many things. It can change randomness on the planet, provable. Large consciousness event can change the actual strength of the magnetic field, measurable, even by satellites. This has now been something that has changed the way even physicists think about what consciousness may be. 
Measurable energy must then have rules. It probably has formulas. And it's probably polarized, negative and positive. Now, if you're following me, what does that mean about consciousness to you? And this is where it gets good. Inside of you, dear ones, inside that beautiful soul of yours, and all that you have and, and, and call your own, now we're understanding your thoughts as energy can program your own DNA. Think about that for a moment. Program your own DNA. What is DNA responsible for? Three or four percent of it make all of the genes of the body. Responsible for the creation of genes. What do the genes do? They talk to every single chemical in your body. And I have just given you a pathway that now is provable from the consciousness of energy of you and your thoughts to your own chemistry. Think about that. There were books in the past, some of which were used as healing books, The Power of Thought, and all of these things that people would try very much to tell you you could do. Falling on deaf ears, mostly of scientists, others who said, I, I believe in practical things and not that, now have to change their story, their narrative, because of the proof of these things. And now I am telling you, old soul, you have a very well-traveled path from your consciousness to your own chemistry well traveled because you have been here so many times so often you know how to do it and you might say well i'm not really sure i know how to do it you do and you don't think you do it's just like anything else that requires thinking or thought or intuition you're good at it and that's how you have awakened to be here perhaps in this place to listen to this channel or for those not here listening, perhaps it's brought you here today to hear these words. Dear human being, you are in charge of your own healing, your own normalcy. Let's not even talk about healing. You are in charge with your thoughts of how your chemistry works. It means that every day you can start the day. Dear chemistry, dear body, Listen up. We are operating at an optimum of efficiency. We are not aging near as much as those around us who don't know they can't talk to their, their own cellular structure. We're not in pain because we are balanced. As designed, we are balanced. We are rejuvenating properly. We are not in dis-ease. And these become your instructions, energetic, formulated instructions to your own body. And let me tell you something. The body rejoices when it hears from the boss. What have you been told? Let's talk about what have you been told all your life. That you live in your head. All of the senses they're all there. They send perhaps pleasure points to other places. Pain points come from other places. But they all are received and transmitted from your head. And you look down to the rest of your body and you shake your head and you say, well, I hope it works all my life. But nobody told you you're in charge of it. That's why you go to all the doctors. Because they know so much more about it, perhaps can help you, and they do. But the biggest doctor is you. What if it were really true that you can think your way into health, heal your own disease, talk to your cellular structure daily, and have it listen so much that you feel better just doing that? And the moment you start that, you know it works. 
And then you start doing it more, and then more. For the last 20 years, my partner has had a saying, a slogan he uses, and he does it every morning when his feet swing around and touch the floor. And he says, dear chemistry, dear body, listen up. I want you to count every other day. That's how you're going to age. The body, you know, it knows day and night. It has an internal clock. You know that. Did you know that that clock can be slowed down for your body? Count every other day, body. And it will. Because you're the boss of your own chemistry, of your own processes, of your own stomach aches and headaches. You're the boss of your own aches and pains. You're the boss. Chiropractic. Those who study how your body works will tell you about balance. And so often, without any chemistry at all, they will balance you, give you exercises. The innate of your body will give you messages, if you wish to hear them. What you call kinesiology is that which is a pathway between the body talking to you and you talking to it. This surpasses all of that. That's you. And that, dear ones, is part of this multidimensional cell energy that you have that is part of the soul. It truly is. For the biggest multidimensional aspect of you is your soul. You might say that when you start talking to your own chemistry, through your own energy, of your own consciousness, you're using the soul energy that then affects the human being. There's only one of you at a time from your soul. There are not multiple human beings that are responsive to that which you call your own soul. You have pieces and parts of your soul that are other places doing other things because they're multidimensional. But the main piece and part resides in you and with you and is ready all the time to react to your instructions. Now, old soul. The final part, the final piece. What happens when the human being not only is able to talk to their chemistry, but now involves the spirituality that they know and love and have been using even in meditations and then combine that with the instructions to the cellular structure. Dear cellular structure, I'm in love with you. Because you were part of the creative source, and I know it, and I feel it. Not only do I give you the instructions on what to do today, on the balance you need today, but I want to tell you, I am in love with you. I am compassionate with myself. I can look at my hands and love them and say thank you for working the way you do. I can feel the other processes in my body and say, thank you. I love you for, for working so well, for being so balanced today. If you have imbalance anywhere, did you know that you can practically love it back into balance? Have you thought about that? Because now you are not only giving your body instructions you're telling it how much you love it, and the compassion and the love from the creative source goes into this body, and the body goes, oh, yes, <laughs> thank you. Is this too unbelievable, or is it something you'd like to examine more? This is the secret to health, longer life, and even joy. When you're comfortable, with yourself, you smile. You feel all is well. When you combine that with sitting on the earth as you do, you're grounded. And the earth says thank you for understanding the connection. And it all works together for the health and the joy of the human. And if you're balanced and if you're healthy, and if you're joyful, you are one of the finest spiritual teachers on the planet. 
Because people look at you and see it all and say, I like that. I want to know more. I just gave the secret for peace on earth. It happens one human at a time. But the old souls, you have an advanced track of knowledge and belief. You can do it first. And that's why you came. Go from this place understanding, perhaps, or not understanding, but being thankful for this information is there because you can grasp it if you choose at any time you choose, now, a year from now. Quite often, human beings wait until they're in trouble to reach out to, reach out to some of these odd-sounding things, but then they'll work, too. Why not do it now, before you're in trouble? <laughs> I am crying so much in love with all of you, wanting so much for you to cognize these things and go away from these areas, changed, different, because you heard something you needed to hear. And so it is.